What's happening? What's happening, good people? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing out there, man? As y'all can see, I got on the number one dad t-shirt. And I got my number one dad cup. Y'all, if you seen my last video, it was a struggle. It took a while to come out. I'm talking days. I took a break over the weekend. This is my third cup of uh, water because my brain has been working overtime. So we're back though, we are back. And in full effect, I have lit two incense this morning. I'm about to light another one. No, I won't light another one. But um, my office is, smells like, uh, what does it smell like? Uh, the incense, I, I think they're called uh, De Niro. Yes, I don't know what it's called. It's, let me see. <laughs> uh, Sortia de Nero, money. Money incense. You can't see it, but anyways. It's supposed to smell like money, I guess. I might light another one. Let me light another one. <laughs> Let me go light another incense, hold on. Okay, I'm back. I am back. Like I said, the last video took me a while to put out because for some reason it, it had got cut in half. So the audio wasn't lining up with the visual, but I got it to work. So uh, let's get back into it, man. Without further ado, y'all hit that like coming through the door. Um, so let's start right here. Hey, what are you staring at? Someone asked. Daddy, hey, dad. Huh? Oh, nothing. Just just nothing. The man replied after coming back to reality. Now be careful with that bucket and rod. So they... Excuse me, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to burp. Mm. Hey, what are you staring at? Someone asked. Daddy, hey, dad. Huh? Oh, nothing. J just nothing, the man replied after coming back to reality. Now be careful with that bucket and rod so they don't brush up against the bushes. Just try to be quiet. Shortly after continuing on through the thick green wall of vege vegetation, the son carefully following his father, the son carefully following behind his father Henry gave Jacob Henry gave young Jacob the sign to stop I cannot my brain is already ooh, so I got I gotta bear with me bear with me man I'm trying to focus I got a thousand things going through my head at the same time because I just watched the other video from yesterday like three times in a row. So now I'm like trying to figure out, okay, how do I implement certain things? How do I go back to the beginning? You know, oh boy. The woes of a writer. Let me take another sip because I need it. And I'm reading out loud and I'm not great at it yet. Notice I said yet. Hey, what are you staring at? Someone asked. Daddy, hey, dad. Huh? Oh, nothing. J just nothing, the man replied after coming back to reality. Now, be careful with that bucket and rod so they don't brush up against the bushes. Just try to be quiet, said Henry. Shortly after continuing on through the thick green wall of vegetation, the son carefully following behind his father, Henry gave young Jacob the sign to stop. Turning to face his son, the man whispered, Get in the pond. He pointed to the section next to the path they were on. The ground showed a fresh trail of mud. The grass was pushed down and still wet from the heavy body of whatever aquatic animal that had gone across. It had been the same spot Suge said he'd seen a young alligator sunbathing the week prior. Going to one knee, the man signaled for his son to come closer. But daddy, if the trail is still wet, wouldn't that mean that the gator is still out of the water? Asked the boy. The father smiled at his son as a feeling of pride came over him that only a father could know. Jacob was a straight A student 
whose biggest issue in school was being a disturbing element, is what the note had read. Next to other words from Mrs. Hughes, Jacob's science teacher, requesting a meeting with the parents. Throughout the school year, he'd often get letters sent home by agitated teachers comp complimenting the parents on a job well done, but also complaining about how the young boy insisted on asking questions that came at various times and long after the lesson had changed. Mainly, the issue was that the questions went too in-depth. I, I don't know why that's underlined, but too, um, th that's the right too. Now, if I change that, went to end up, went, to, 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 to. I'm going to leave it, I'm going to leave it for now. And more than once, he'd call the teacher out on a contradiction, like when Mrs. Hughes wore a gold cross around her neck, but taught so passionately, passionately about how man came from monkeys and how the universe was formed by some huge random explosion. Coincidentally, the fishing trip they'd finally gotten around to had been postponed due to an incident that occurred just before school ended for summer break. He'd been placed on punishment after his parents had to meet with his teacher and the school principal after Jacob asked publicly if she believed in Jesus. Yes, yes, you do have a point, son. But if you stop overthinking, but if you stop overthinking it, you'll see how I know she's back in the water, said Henry before pointing to a section surrounded by briars where a bundle of leathery, leather, leathery eggs were all grouped together. I have trouble saying leathery. <laughs> leathery. Rubbery? Rubbery? We just say rubbery eggs. Daddy, those are... Yep. Now let's keep moving and keep your voice down before that mama come to see who's bothering her nest. Okay, I'll be extra quiet. I'll be so quiet, you'll think that I left and went back home. But I'll still be right behind you. I'll be like a soldier moving through the... Boy, hush. I get the point. Just look at the water for anything floating on the top. Like a log or something. Okay. Y'all, it's a struggle this morning, man. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting through it. Like I said before, uh, if you're trying to, whatever it is you're trying to do, no, this should be, this should be black. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, um, even if you've done it before, you're going to have obstacles, man. You're just going to have obstacles. It's, you just got to deal with it. You just got to be able to get, just go through them, you know. Um, anyways, we're not going to kill her, are we? Asked Jacob. We're not going to kill her, kill her, kill her. We're not going to kill her, are we? No, no, but I don't want her to kill us either. The two tracked on, making their way around the circular pond, traveling clockwise through briars and thick hedge bushes on the look for rattlers water moccasins, and mama alligators. They moved. Finding a spot on a high berm where the tall grass didn't grow and a musky smell dwelled, maybe the resting spot for a pack of wild dogs, father and son began sitting, setting up camp. Looking across the landscape, they both scanned the black greenish water back and forth as the sun climbed higher over the tree line, varying beams of light was causing the two acre body of water to appear as though one tremendous sheet of dark diamond. As Jacob came down from the berm, 
and stood just in front of the sparkling mass, he casted a wavering image of a nearly five feet tall, stout, dimpled face, black boy. Stout or chubby? We're going to say chubby. Take it as chubby. Chubby, dumpled face, black boy. He doesn't necessarily have to have dumples. You don't need dumples. Chubby. He casted a wavering image of a nearly five feet tall, chubby. Uh, let's see, almond colored. I want to. I want to get his complexion. You know, complexion is a big deal with black people. What am I doing here? Almond colored. Let's see. Let me pause it for a second. Okay, so I just went online and I couldn't find anything specific. So I'm gonna say dark almond colored. We may change that later. And I said that, you know, skin color is a big deal or skin tone is a big deal in the black community. And it really is. It really is. I mean, it's not like, it's not, I, I would say in describing a character, it is a big deal. But in real life, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, Barack Obama color or, I don't know, um, flavor Flav color. Mariah, Mariah Carey color or um, who's really dark uh, who else is really dark I'm trying to think Whoopi Goldberg Whoopi Goldberg is not that dark but you know what I mean it doesn't matter if you're black you're black if you if you have a ounce of blackness in you and you embrace that and not pretend that you're not black <laughs> we you know we love everybody so that's what I mean I got to clarify that. All right. As Jacob came down from the berm, let me make sure berm is spelled right. I think I've already been over this, but let me see. Yeah. Bar. Yeah. And stood just in front of the sparkling mass. He casted a wavering image of a nearly five feet tall, chubby, dark almond, dark almond colored dark almond colored black boy or just dark almond colored boy you know to say black I think we know that he's black uh, he stood there mesmerized by the moving image Jacob what are you looking at you see something asked Henry from the hill nope Jacob replied just looking at how handsome I am, the boy smiled. Boy, if you don't get your silly butt over here and put bait on this hook, Henry laughed. Okay, I'll be right there, just looking at myself, that's all. Okay. Looking at yourself. Now, why in the world would you be looking at your ugly mug? You better be looking out for that gator because she comes out uh, before she comes out and bite your foot off just like you were joking about earlier. As Jacob continued to look down at the wavy water, he asked, I'm little for my age, ain't I, Daddy? Comforting his son as best he, he knew how, Henry replied, Boy, hush. If you got any bigger, you'll be as big as me. You're going to be big like your mama. Your sister takes after me. Okay, so this is where we are. we'll put it. We'll make this red here. And I apologize because... Um, <sighs> nah, I was going to say, it's almost 15 minutes. I thought it was going to be too short, but it's almost 15 minutes. Let's go back to the green and come on down. Hey! What are you staring at? Someone asked. Daddy, hey, dad. Huh? Oh, nothing. Ju just nothing, the man replied after coming back to reality. Now be careful with that bucket and rod so they don't brush up against the bushes. Just try to be quiet. Shortly after coming on through, 
Shortly after continuing on through the thick green wall of vegetation, the son carefully following behind his father. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Because I keep thinking that needs to be done, so. Shortly after continuing on through the thick green wall of vegetation, the son carefully following behind his father, Henry gave young Jacob the sign to stop, turning to face his son. So, I didn't mention anything about them having uh, fishing rods. I don't think. Did I? In the beginning? Oh, man. See, I'm going to have to go back and see because if they're going fishing, I know I mentioned him having, um, having the... Uh, 22 rifle draped across his shoulder. Uh, I don't. I don't think I said anything about fishing rods, though. So, um, this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're going to leave this part in red. This is where we'll stop next time. But I'm definitely gonna pick it up, and I, I, I'm gonna pick it up from the beginning. I hate to tell you that. I'm talking the very beginning because I gotta. I gotta make sure some things are in place um, so I'm gonna put a note here describe them walking with fishing equipment Describe them walking with fishing equipment. In the beginning, it was, it was something else I needed to remember too, man. But that's that's all I got for now. This is where we're going to pick it up. Very beginning. Tomorrow. And um, that's the first thing I'm going to do. And maybe it'll come to me. But, uh, yeah, this is what it takes. This is what it takes. We got down to page 8 or 9. And this is so far it's a ninety eight page story um and twenty five thousand eight hundred forty eight words and some people might be thinking twenty eight twenty five thousand words um, almost twenty six thousand words that's a lot of words mm, no no it's really not my normal books are about ninety thousand hundred thousand words not normal books but my published books all of them are about they range from 85,000 to like 120,000 words. So, yeah, this is not not long. This is this is like maybe three or four chapters. No, this is maybe five or six good chapters in a, in a normal book. Anyways, this is where we're going to pick it up tomorrow. Y'all, thank y'all for stopping by. I don't think I'm going to put music with this one either. I think uh, I, I have to uh, contemplate. I, well, I have to, you know. I have to look at, you know, what the music is doing versus not no music. So we'll leave it here. Thank y'all for stopping by. This is Anthony O'Kelly. Salute to all y'all. Till next time, I'm out.